What do you think the answer to that question is? I'm asking. That's why I came to a college professor. What other kinds of answers have you got? A lot of like this, where you're where you're not answering. I've got a lot of that. I think that has a lot to do with the way you've conducted yourself in the interview. How have I conducted myself? How do you think you've conducted yourself? <laughs> How do you think you've been doing? I really don't want to answer the questions, do you? For me, it's actually a really simple answer, and that's a person who identifies as a woman. But what are they identifying as? As a woman. As so a woman? As a woman. As a you woman. Know what a circular definition is? I do. It's sort of like what you're doing right now. A woman is, is a woman. I just wanna I just wanna read you this poster that I have, um, because I hear a lot of pro-lifers um, say that life begins at conception. Mm -hmm. So my poster reads, life begins when you understand living women matter more than potential babies. What is it? What do you mean? If it's a potential baby, what is inside of a woman? It's a fetus. It's a is fetus? It no, no. How no it of course it's not living, no. Actually, actually that's like saying if an acorn is a tree. When or that you're an idiot. Living? Um, that's um, actually a good question, but that's, that's a good question. Because you don't know it. Because you're an idiot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How can you come here and tell me there's no such thing as white privilege and no such thing as racism? Easily. There's Easily. No such thing as white privilege or racism. So. <laughs> There's racism, but it's not institutional. You know what SB 1070 is? Tell me what it is. It's basically a law for an officer to pull me over and ask for my papers. Okay, well, I think people should be asked for their papers regardless of the skin. Okay, color. so who, so then we go. Here's white privilege. Who are yeah. they going to ask for their papers? Me or you? I get asked for papers all the time. No, when you I get don't. Pulled over. Hold on a second. First of all, I get asked for my driver's license all the time when I get pulled over. In fact, every time I get pulled over, I get asked for my driver's You're license. Do you really think you're being pulled <laughs> over just because of the color of your skin? Dude, it's happened many times. Hey, guess what? Well, maybe you're doing too. something you're wrong, John. Know because you don't look like me, man. Wait, hold You're on. never going to have to so, know my struggle. I'm just going to give you a piece of advice. Honestly, you complimented me and Candace Owens. You're looking at the world as a victim. And the evil white man that's trying to crush you, it's a lie. It's a lie that is designed to keep you down. It's a lie that is designed to try so to true. you. So true. So true. White people get pulled over all the time to be asked for their papers. Yeah. And if a non-citizen does not have their papers, they should be deported from this country if they do not have their papers. So Absolutely. Right, before you start saying I'm playing that victim thing, I'm never going to call myself a victim but i'm not blind to the fact that my journey is going to be different than someone that doesn't look like me. you're complaining right now he just stood up there for the last couple of minutes and you're complaining about that you know what you're going to be pulled over i'm going to be pulled over more because of my skin brown i've been pulled over they ask you for your driver's license you give it to them and then they if you were doing something wrong they're going to tell you and majority of the times, they let it slide. Come on. You're right. So you know how it's going to be different? It's going to be easier for you because affirmative action laws benefit people of color above white applicants. Yeah, so people. true. In Texas, if you try to get Regeneron or monoclonal antibodies, the specific position of the Texas Health and Human Services is we only give Regeneron to Hispanic and black people and not to white people. At State Street Capital Advisors, if you want to be a financial manager, you know they're not allowed to hire white people without board permission, yet they can hire Hispanic people and black people as much as they want. Do you know that United Airlines wants to double the amount of Hispanic and black pilots and try to hire less white pilots you're right you and i have it different the current regime and status quo is making it easier for you so you true privilege. that's right you got privilege there bro <laughs> he's been in his head took a knee <laughs> to charlie kirk yeah what how is what i was saying because i was saying that the only website is that there are more than one gender in well, this country that's Bible. your opinion that is my opinion and that is an opinion which is acceptable in the school I'm afraid yours, which you're saying that there's no such thing as anyone other than male or female, is not inclusive. Scientifically, there are just two genders, depending on what I get, I get gender that. But you're, you are choosing to make an issue of this, because I said, are you really going to do it? That was your opportunity to, 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 to keep quiet. You made the issue with it on the website. You said, oh, this website doesn't have more than two Murray, genders. you were clearly given an opportunity not to pursue it. You chose to do so. You chose to do yeah, so. I think it's you silly. chose to do so. Yes. Because I'm from Scotland. Question. You chose to do so. You chose I think to it's do silly so. To have anything other than two genders. So. That okay. Anything could you please, else? Okay. Could you please keep that opinion to your own house. Thank you. Thank not you. So you get to put your opinion out in class, and my no, opinion. I, nice. I am not. My opinion my, has to stay I am inside not my house. putting my opinion. I am not putting my opinion out. 
I am stating what is national school authority policy. Okay? Well, okay. It's not scientific whatsoever. Not every policy is scientific, Brian. Uh, sorry. Oh, that's not very good. Not every policy Beat me is up, scientific, Scotty. Murray. And you can't come out here and say that I'm not being inclusive when someone says I something didn't you disagree say with. You, so you I said what you were saying you, was not being inclusive. You kicked me out of Oh, Captain. Laddie. I don't know if I can get those warp engines fired up again. Beat me up, Scotty. I'm from Scotland. If, if, if you want to have a discussion about it, we could have done it, had a discussion. God, does this guy eat a lot? I'm sorry. Waste 30 I'm minutes sorry. Minutes. I cannot I down, talk to you anymore. Instead, I state something I believe in. You kick me out of class for 30 minutes and okay. I'm waiting on the Take this somewhere else, Murray. You can make an official complaint. Please I'm not going to make an official complaint. Why not? I just think it's... I know what you think. And I know what the authority thinks. I know what the authority's point of view well, is very thinks. clear, very clear that we make no discrimination on the grounds of various... I wasn't making discrimination. I'm simply saying there are two genders, male and female. Yeah. Anything I'm... else is a personal identification. I'm sorry, but you chose to make an issue of making a point which is contrary to policy. You right? made the issue when you complained about the website, sir. Yes. <laughs> What's your biggest turnoff in guys? Probably when they don't work out. Go to oh, the really? And stuff. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Man. So what do you guys prefer in a guy? Did you look in a mirror? Really rich. Really black. At least 6'5". 6'5"? Yeah. He's 6'5". He's got to be taller, you know? No? Yeah, just lots of money, really. You like a, a yacht and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That kind of thing, huh? Can buy me fancy things. Mm -hmm. A lot of food. Pay my rent. Between men or women, who has a harder life? Absolutely women. Why? We bleed for a uh, week a month. Um, we are f***ing... We're sexualized everywhere we go. Yeah, like cat called? Yeah. Yeah, look at Absolutely. the way you're dressed, so but oh, please put some clothes on. Not me. Anyone try to steal you today? <laughs> we can. We can. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I got like 20 girlfriends back at the crib. Oh, yeah. 22 then. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, look at if a mirror, girl. If you are going to engage in sex work, you are going to probably make a lot of money, especially if you're young. Um, you're on a very tight rope as you get older. Your value goes down, and men are going to want women that are younger and available to them. Um, I'm talking about in terms of just making the person who will subscribe to your OnlyFans page. You know, obviously, women, it's, you're, you're declining as you age. As And um, the truth is, is that high-value men don't want to date women that are sex workers or even women that aren't sex workers and lean into the whole talking about how sexy and then are, we freely, are freely available on the internet for other men to see. We don't want what no we're hoes! What about is biological proclivity. Um, what men are doing when they first say... Uh, we don't want a sex worker. Or date a stripper or date a prostitute or date a sex worker is there, there's this instinct to have sex. It's going to be amazing but have sex all the time. But then when they realize that actually a form of wanting to be in a relationship is feeling that there's a mystery to a woman, that there's something that's yours, there's something that's sacred, there's something that's powerful and beautiful that just you share. And when they realize that they have to share that with other men, it completely diminishes the man. Wow, Candace Owen delivering the receipts, delivering the goods. Those girls, some of them in the back are like going, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, Candace Owens delivering the knockout punch. <laughs> Ding. I am so tired of talking about woke culture. No, no, free speech is not some right wing reframing of whatever. It's the foundation of Western civilization. Absolutely. Upon this civilization is built. I don't have to make the point that has been made by far better people that the only way to deal with the problem of racism is to treat people on the content of their character and nothing else. And the fact that woke culture seeks to overturn that is a new form of racism that we must all oppose. I am not going to talk to those of you who already agree with me, which I imagine is most of you. I want to talk to those of you who are woke and who are open to rational argument. A small minority, I accept. <laughs> because one of the tenets of wokeness is, of course, that your feelings matter more than the truth. Feelings. But I believe in you. I believe there are those of you here who are woke, who are open Nothing to Nothing more than feelings. So 
Next up. As a non-binary person, what do you have to tell me about my identity? Because I know for a fact I'm not confused. Oh, you're very okay. confused. Look Next in a mirror, question. honey. Great statement. That's a statement. That's a statement. Okay. You Goodbye. know your identity. You're not confused. Congratulations, Patience. sweetheart. Thank you very much for your statement. <laughs> that was great. That was great. You're wearing a belt. Is that belt from leather or is that an artificial? Yeah, it's vegan leather, yeah. Okay, but it's leather. Yeah, it's not someone's skin. So it's an actually an artificial product. That's the question I'm asking. Yeah, no one was shot in the head for my belt. Vegan leather, so it's a synthetic vegan material lava. and no one okay. was shot in the head. So okay. that's been a synthetic material you've got. That produced as much CO2 as driving my car from here to Darwin. Can I see the scientific resource? Go to WHO. So the United fact, Nations WHO website that will actually show you that for every 500 man oh man oh man I love doing these videos I mean it's just <laughs> to see these people come against you know the statements that are being made by people like Candace Owens or by some of the students that were there talking back to the professor and just literally getting these people all balled up, literally, you know, they're just ready to just explode when they see the rationality hitting them. And then they don't want to realize the rationality. They want to continue to go to their point or the rationality they're giving you. Oh, show me the book. Show me the source. Cite it to me. I mean, you could show them, you could show them, you know, a statement by an authoritative figure, a professor, a PhD, a scientist, done a valid study. Not one of these ones, okay, there are these woke studies going out there, but they still wouldn't believe it. They will still stick to their feelings and not the facts. Anyways, folks, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host, Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow us. You all know what to do. Take a look at our content video here and below. Put your comments down as well. My final thought, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.